Hey guys, Miss Gregory here. We are graphing ratio tables. You see this Florida Mass Standard RP 1.3a. This goes with the workbook lesson 1.5 pages 47 through 54 in your workbook. And real quick, do you have your supplies? Pencil, pen, highlighter, headphones in a quiet area, your workbook, and ready to take notes. Moving on if you're ready. All right, on this first page, we are talking about graphing ratio tables, and we need to start with the vocabulary. So you see a list of vocabulary to the right, and you see the vocabulary highlighted on the left, giving you a little bit of a clue with some definitions. So your first assignment is to fill in the blanks with the highlighted words from the page. Pause right now. Answer the questions by filling in the blank and also do the real world link. Then come back and push play when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, check your work. Make sure you have the vocabulary in the correct place. And looking at the real world link, in three minutes a North American wood turtle can travel about 17 yards. If the x-axis represents the minutes and the y-axis represents the yards, write an ordered pair to represent this situation. So three would be the minutes, and it's hard to get into this little spot, so three goes here, and the 17 yards goes in the second blank, okay? Ready? Then move on. If not, pause here, copy everything down. Okay, just a little vocabulary refresh on this page. With um, graphing ordered pairs, you need to think about crawling before you walk. Babies crawl across before they stand and walk up helps you remember the order of how to move on the coordinate plane. Or you can think about the X coordinate comes before the Y coordinate in the alphabet. So typically when you're moving for X, you're going to move to the right. And for Y, you're going to move up. This is for this portion of the coordinate plane that we're working on right now. Okay, so graphing ordered pairs Again, you have a reminder here, um, x-coordinate and y-coordinate. And then if you look at the examples, example one, you're looking at the table for the number of CDs, which they have called x, the cost in dollars, which they call y, and then the third column, they're putting it together as an ordered pair x and y coordinates. So when you are graphing the ordered pairs you have to start at the origin which remember is at point zero zero. You are going to move right for the x, move up for the y. And then you can see the dot that they've drawn for 1 and 3 2 and 6, and 3 and 9. And what they would like for you to do for number 2 is describe the pattern in the graph. Okay, It looks like the points appear in a line. And a good way for you to check this is if you have a straight edge, which could be a pencil, a pen, doesn't actually have to be a ruler, even the straight edge of your paper. And if you were to lay that down, covering up the three dots, does it make a straight line? Or you could also start at the origin and try to follow through. Again, um, ending with an arrow because it continues along those points. So yes, it does make a straight line, but they also want you to describe that each point is moving one unit to the right and three units up 
from the previous point. The cost increases in this situation by three dollars for every CD created. Okay, make sure you've copied everything on this page before you move on. If you need to pause, then pause. Okay, now you are going to work the got it's both A and B. There's space to the left in your workbook to do these problems. You need to pause the video while you work A and B. Once you've finished the problems, check back with the video, push play to see if you are correct. Okay, let's get started. Your turn. Okay, you can see that I've shown these tiny little purple dots to represent the ordered pairs, 1 and 5, 2 and 10, and I wanted to make sure to show you that I am going across to 3, and then I'm going to go up to 15. And it's hard to get the dot in the exact spot with this you should be more accurate on your paper so we're going to go over three and up to 15 and that's a little off but you get the gist of it you also are supposed to find out um, a pattern and we're seeing that glorious earnings increase by five dollars each hour so we're gonna say that they increase five dollars each hour okay and if you have everything here copy down then you can move on if not pause the video okay comparing ratios using ratio tables and graphing okay so Underline again, this is important to know about when you are looking at the graph, you can compare the steepness of the line. The steeper the line, the higher or taller the line, if you think about it like a rooftop, the steeper the line will appear, the greater the ratio is. Okay, so we have these examples and I tried to use two different colors to represent the two friends. Renee's scrapbook is pink, that's her important information, and Gina's scrapbook is in the dark green. And you can see the information filled into the tables to make it nice, neat, and organized. The tables represent um, the scrapbook that they're making, the total number of photos that are placed. If each book has one, two, three, or four pages. Okay, so for Renee's scrapbook, on one page, see, she has four photos. If she has two pages, that means she has eight photos, continuing at the same rate. Three pages, she would have 12 photos, and you can see the pattern. Now, Gina's scrapbook is a little different. On her page one, she has six photos. Two pages, she would have 12, and again, continue the pattern. Now, look at number four. You'll have to go to the next page, or actually, let me go to the next slide. And if we look at example four, under graph the ordered pairs for each friend, on the same coordinate plane. You're doing it on the same plane so that you can compare the steepness of the graph. So here's where you need to use two different colors. So Gina is in the pink and Renee is in the blue. Okay, so they've taken the ordered pairs, the X and Y's, going across first and then going up to the Y second. And you can see Renee in blue, if we were to connect the dots for Renee, and then if we were to connect the dots for Gina, you can see they both tend to make a straight line, but
but you can also see that Gina's line is more steep, okay, comparing the colors. So look at number five where you're actually doing the comparison now. How does the ratio of photos to each page compare for each person? This is between Renee and Gina. How is it shown on the graph? So the ratio of photos to pages for Renee is 4 to 1. For every one page, she has 4 photos. While the ratio for Gina's scrapbook is 6 to 1. So on the graph, both sets of points appear to be a straight line, but the line for Gina is steeper. The reason it's steeper is because she has more photos per page, she's going to continue to have more photos for, per page. Again, just want to make sure you have this written down that the reason Gina's line is more steep is because she has more photos per page than Renee, and if they continue at the same rate, Gina will always have more photos per page. Okay, once you have this copied, move to the next slide. Alright, we are at the end of the lesson. You need to do the guided practice, which means you need to answer the questions 1 through 4, and then you need to rate yourself. Thank you, and have a good night. Remember to actually do the guided practice activity. Thanks. Good night, Miss Gregory.